Hey y'all, Kevin here, and this is Pure Reviews, where I review all kinds of products. So if you are new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button. And in particular, if you find this video useful or helpful, be sure to hit that like button before you go. Maybe even leave a comment that simply says thanks. Really helps with the channel a ton, and I greatly appreciate it. So today's product is available on Amazon, and I've included a link in the description that will take you directly to the product page, where you can see the current price point, see if it's on sale, all that lovely information. But what is it? It is my Quizen Art coffee maker setup here. And I absolutely love this thing because it is a dual serving coffee making setup. So first off, as you can see on the one side, it does the K-cup single serve. And if you have just need one cup of coffee or anything like that, this is a perfect solution. However, when you have maybe company over or you want more coffee, it also can do a full pot of coffee on the other side. They're completely different independent systems, so you really have the full-blown flexibility. So first off, right off the bat, when you open this up out of the box, obviously you're going to get the coffee maker. You are going to get a coffee pot itself. You will naturally get the instruction manual that's going to tell you how to operate everything. A lot of it's pretty straightforward. We're going to go over a lot of the features here in this video. You are going to get in these two little bags, um, you're going to get some filters to filter out the water. Make sure you soak these for about 30 minutes uh, prior to putting them in and run water through them. And they're just going to go in the back reservoirs. There is um, We'll take out the K-Cup Reservoir thing, which is nice because this one is completely removable. But you'll see it has this little black bar here, and it's going to go in the bottom of that. Uh, typically, you're going to want to change those out every few months. Uh, and then there is another one in the back side of the main coffee pot. In addition to that, you are they're going to include some uh, paper coffee filters. We haven't really used these. We just have... Uh, use the metal one that comes with it, which I'll show you that in a minute. Then you already get two different types of um, single serve units. So you're going to get this little guy right here. So this one is designed for the K-Cups. Simply pop this in, line up the arrow with the back side, um, and then you can set down the unit and it's good to go. However, if you want to use your own ground coffee and you don't necessarily want to buy the K-Cup, they also include this little adapter, which is really nice and clever. So Pop the top off here, you fill this little strainer with whatever coffee you want, slide it in here, close this, and then this basically will act as a single use. Absolutely great little invention, because if you want like fresh ground coffee, you can do that. Um, we have a tendency you can use the K-cup part with like teas, other things. So you really get a big flexibility with the single serve side. Now the K-cup does do in the controls, which are all right here, you can do four ounces, six ounces, eight ounces, 10 ounces, or 12 ounces. So you have a lot of options when it comes to how much you want. You're simply going to close the door and then you will change the pod button. Just simply tap that in, in the screen. It will cycle through your various options. When you are ready to go, you'll just hit the brew button and it will start heating up and go, do what it does. Now, it also has a over ice option. Uh, so if you do want to uh, put, like make an iced tea or something like that, you can select that and it's just gonna tweak the heating element in uh, to make sure it's optimized, I guess, for like making iced tea. Now, one of the other cool aspects is it does fit multiple types of cups. So there is this little door thing that slides down. So if you have a small teacup, you can put it here. And all that's basically doing is helping reduce the splashing. Because obviously, if your cup's down here, as the water's hitting it, you may get a little splash out. Uh, but then you have your second size down here. But if you need to, you can remove this and remove the extra drip tray and place a, uh, like a travel cup. Um, will fit in here nice and uh, tight and everything. So... You can use multiple sides. Obviously, uh, it will turn off automatically once it is done. And the reservoir itself that you saw holds 42 ounces of water, so it can do multiple cups of coffee as you need them. It's ready to go. Now, as far as the coffee pot side, you have under here, you have the trap little door. This comes with this little filter. Uh, this is a reusable, washable filter. This is the one we typically utilize. 
Uh, and then you can just throw it in there, add your coffee, and you're good to go. All of it is dishwasher safe. So when you want to, you can throw the craft, you can throw the filters all in the dishwasher and clean it if you want. The reservoir, you add the water in the back side here. Um, and basically what we do is we fill up the pot so that way you know exactly how much water you want. Now the coffee maker itself does have an auto timer. So if you go to bed and you want this to start brewing at a certain time, you can set that up with that time option. Uh, it also will automatically turn off after, uh, it's, you know, it has the heating element down here. And so after a while, it will automatically turn off for you. So if you forget it, you don't have to worry about that. Another thing, you can control the strength by uh, changing the uh, craft temperature and the bulb. So you can hit the bulb button, that'll make it a little bit stronger. And then the craft temperature will change how hot you're gonna have your coffee. So, cause obviously you may not want it too hot. You don't want to burn your coffee you can adjust the temperature, which is a nice little feature. Now you can see there is a clean button. So this thing does clean if you wish. Um, it will let you know you can clean this side and you can also clean the K-cup side. So you can clean each one independently. I do recommend, especially if you have kind of like a hard water or water that has calcium or lime buildup, that you do do the cleaning just to make sure that it's running optimizable. Um, letting that water flow out as best as it can. Uh, it also does do the grab and go. So if you are making a full pot and you're ready to pour yourself your first cup and it's not done yet, you can just pull this straight out. It will continue to collect the coffee up above, pour your glass, and then as soon as you put this back, the rest of it will fall in. So it does have a little bit of a reservoir you got going on there. Uh, but then you have your dial here, which can allow you to do the autos, the brews, uh, lots of options. And then, of course, it has the clock at the top if you want to set that to your current time. But overall, it's a great little smart invention. I love the fact that it does both types of coffee. It does the traditional and also the K-cups, all in a compact design. So it's super, super flexible. It doesn't take up a lot of room, as you can see in my countertop here. Uh, really, really highly recommended. Absolutely love it. Love the fact that you can dishwash, uh, throw everything in the dishwasher too. So if you are in the market for a new coffee maker, I think this one is totally worth checking out. If there's something that I didn't quite cover that you're a little curious about, feel free to hit me up in the comment section. I do typically respond to those. That is it till next video. You guys take it easy. Congrats, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you very much. Um, greatly appreciated for the support. Be sure to uh, hit that like button on the video. It really, really does help out. And if you have not subscribed yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell if you want to uh, get notified when new videos come out on this channel.